Hey, I'm back. This is Chandler for Melder Production, and today I want to show you how you can make a ducking reverb using M Turbo Reverb. So one of the great things about this is you can use this to create a delay that doesn't get in the way of your vocals or lead instrument while keeping that long tail when your lead instrument isn't playing. So one of the great things is we can do this just using M Turbo Reverb. We don't need a compressor or anything like that because it's already built in. So let me let you listen to this just dry example of me speaking. Okay, so this is just a demonstration of the ducking features. Okay, so easy enough to understand. So first thing I want to do is just route this dry sound to my reverb bus here where I have M Turbo Reverb. I can use anything here. Let's try, I don't know, Ben Zeitin. I like this one. I have it set at 300 milliseconds, which is about three seconds. And this should be a rather long reverb. I have the wet dry set to 100% because it's on ascend here. And let's listen to this. Okay, so this is just a demonstration of the ducking features. While I'm speaking, you should hear the reverb go away. But when I pause, you should hear the reverb come back. So as you heard, the reverb is really getting in the way and we don't want that. So let's find a way to you know, get rid of that and duck that down while I'm speaking. So one of the first things we need to do is we just open this here going to enable it and you see here in the dynamic section we have a whole array of different things we can use to you know gate things or compress things etc I want to turn the gate off here I believe it's this way or maybe this way sorry and I want to use the compressor but I want to turn the pre off I want this to be post reverb I'll open these meters here so you can see this. This is the gain reduction meter. And the most important part is the side chain. So I want to use the side chain. And the great thing about having the side chain built in is I can have it triggered from the vocal sound, but I could also have it triggered from something else. So if I wanted the uh, vocals to duck the reverb on like a pad or a guitar or something, I could do that also. So second thing I need to do is do the exact same thing. Move this over. And now I have the side chain going into here and you should see the side chain uh, lit up here this meter here so you can see what's happening okay so this is just a so you saw now we have the side chain routed into M turbo reverb the next thing I want to do is go into this edit screen here okay and the dynamic section this is what I want but now I have the compressor off and the gate off the most important thing here is the side chain. So click on the side chain here, and now we can go back to the edit screen, or the non-edit screen, actually the easy screen, and arrange everything from there. So let's try the compressor at a four to one ratio. RMS, let's make this a little bit longer, maybe like three or four milliseconds. I don't want this to react too quickly. Move the attack up a bit and move the release way up because I don't want it to pump too much. Now I'm going to use the comp and just slide this down as we're listening to it. And if you look here at the R, this will show you how much gain reduction we're doing. So let's go. Okay, so this is just a demonstration of the ducking features. While I'm speaking, you should hear the reverb go away. But when I pause, you should hear the reverb come back. Okay, so as you heard, when I was speaking, it really dries up, but then when there's a pause, it comes back. So one of the things we probably want to do is maybe adjust the attack and release settings so they're not quite so fast, and that'll get, make it a little bit smoother. Let's try this. Okay, so this is just a demonstration of the ducking features. While I'm speaking, you should hear the reverb go away. But when I pause, you should hear the reverb come back. That's pretty good. In a mix, I think that's all right. Also, I have the reverb level up a bit high here, but I wanted to, you know, kind of increase that so you could really hear it with this demonstration. You might actually want to do a little bit less reverb on an actual mix, but that gives you an idea what you can do. And of course, adjust this threshold here, the 
ratio and RMS release and attack to taste. But I know you're probably thinking, ah, it's a little bit, you know, troublesome to go in there and actually hit the edit screen and adjust the side chain. So I'll show you a quick way you can edit this. So that way you don't have to do that every time. So if we just click edit here, you see we have the side chain and let's add our own button. If we look here to where the pre was and the dynamics are, I'm going to take this pre, this is the multi-parameter. I'll open it. I'm just going to click copy. Now above it, you see it says M52. This is a free multi-parameter. So I'm going to click that. There's nothing in there. I'm just going to paste it. So now it's the same thing, but I don't want it to say pre. Let's change that to sidechain. Sidechain, okay? Now over here, it says dynamics globals pre. I don't want it pre. I want this to be hooked up to the sidechain. So globals, sidechains right there. Now everything should be working. So now you see here at the bottom, it has a button that says sidechain. So if I turn it off like here, Look here, sidechain is off. I turn it on, sidechain's on. So that way, instead of having to go back and forth through the edit screen, you could just do everything from this front panel. Unfortunately, this isn't built in, but all you have to do from here is just save this as a preset, and you can do this with any of these active presets. You could add this sidechain button easily, and you could do this for any reverb that you really like. It only takes about you know three or four seconds, as I showed. So I hope this gave you some ideas on how you can use this kind of ducking delay. You can use this for you know practical reasons, or you could even use this as a kind of interesting effect if you used it with drums or something else. So that's it for today. If you like this, leave me a comment down below. Give me a thumbs up and check out all the other plugins at Melder Production. Thanks and see you.